tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a Greek wave friendship bracelet. This is the pattern 5608 on bracelet book. Um, I will link it in the description for you so you can print it off. And this is what it looks like. So if you don't have a printer, you can just screenshot this right here. The thing I'm gonna do is cut all my strings. So right here you can see there's six A strings and five B strings. So for me, this blue will be the A string and this like pinkish color will be the B string. The string length, I do the same as I always do. So I take it and I do fingertips, so fingertips also known as like wingspan. So I take um, this end and this end and I just pull it all the way out until it's like to my other arm, so it's about that long. And then I will cut it right there. And then when I fold that in half, that is about the length that I want for my strings. So it's like this long about. And so now I am going to do that two more times. So I'll just take it back out and then line it up two more times. I will now do the same thing for this pinkish string. So this one only has five. So I'm going to do the long one twice. And then I will do the extra one just once, which I will show you. Right now when I have all my strings out, I have three blue and two of this pink. So I will take it and fold it in half because that's what we'll do when we actually make the bracelet. That's will be the length of our strings. And now I need just one extra one. So this is folded in half and I will take my same pink thread, thread and um, line it up with the top and then just go down once. And then that is all my strings. For the knot at the top of my bracelets, I just do just a knot with all of them. So I just go like this and then pull it right back through my fingers. So it's like a little loop. And I like to leave a little extra so that I can make ties for my bracelet. So that's probably like good. And then I'll just make it tight and then I'm going to tape this down and we will start on the pattern. I am now ready to start. So this pattern is pretty simple as for sorting strings. So it's just all the blues on one side and then all of my pinks on the other side. So I'll do that real quick. So now I'm going to count all my strings and make sure I have the correct amount. So you should have six on this side and five on this side. So the first knot that we're going to do is this one right here. So it's just blue over blue. And actually all of these, we're just going to do this first triangle right here. So the first one, we will take these two outside strings and do a backward knot. So. I'm currently making another video on how to do knots, but basically this will be your base string. And so this one, you're gonna make a four across and then pull it back through. So that is half of it. And then you do that one more time. So that is a backward knot right there. So that would be this circle. Now we're gonna go over and take our next two blue strings and do another backward knot. Now that we have that done, we're going to take this same string that we just did the knot and we're going to do another knot onto the next blue string. So we're going to go to this one right here and do another backward knot. So that was just this one. So the last one in this row will be right here. So we take our outside string, which will be our base string, and then the same one that we just did the last two knots with and you do one more backward knot. So now you have done four knots so far. So the next one we will do is this one right here. So this will be five knots all backward going all the way across. So you should have two more of your blue strings left over. And so you'll do a backward knot right here. And then you're gonna go all the way down on all these other strings. So it's kind of tough at the beginning but if you can tell, like this string would be my next one up in line. 
And so I will take this one and do a backward knot onto this string. Now you can tell kind of that these two are on the outside, so this one right here will be the next one that I do. Same thing, a backward knot. The next would be this one. And then the last blue one will be this outside one, and it's the same thing, backward knot. So that is that whole blue thing right up here. So now we're going to go to the other side and do this little yellow triangle right there. So this one, you can see right here that this string, there's no knot right here. So with these pinks, you can just take one right out and put it off to the side because we won't be using that one in this first knot. So then I'll take the next two up on this edge and this will be a forward knot. So this time, your base string will be on the right, and you'll take this and do a four this way. Pull the knot through. Do one of those right here. So that right there was this knot, and now we're going to do this one. So if you can kind of tell, this one kind of comes in, this string right here. So we will take the string we just did the knot with, and then this outside one and do another forward knot. Now there are only two strings left that we haven't done a knot with, which are these two. So I'll just move my blue over here and we will do a forward knot with those. It would be this one right here and then we will do three more forward knots going all the way out to the edge string. So that little section right there was these four. So the next one we will do is we're going to take this blue and we will do three regular forward knots and then we'll do a forward backward. So with this one, you can tell this blue has a yellow string. So the yellow string will be the base string and the blue will be the string that we will use. And so kind of separate these colors. And if you can tell, for me, this one is the most edge. So when you like pull these all down, this one is on the innermost edge. So that will be the string that we're going to be going um, down with. And so we'll take this string and then the outermost pink string, which would be this one, and I will do a forward knot with the blue over the pink. Now when your bracelet lays down, you should have all the blues, a pink, a blue, and then all the pinks or whatever colors you're doing. And so now we're gonna do another one of those right there and another one right there. So I'll just take the next pink in line and do a forward knot. And then one more right here. So you should have just done three forward knots and then this one right here is different. So it's a forward backward knot. And so this one, I'll show you real quick. We're not even gonna use this outermost edge string, but this one, you do one forward, so it'll be a forward this way, pull it through. So that'll be the first half of your knot. And then the second half, you're gonna take it and you're gonna go back this way. So it's the same base string, you're just swapping directions with that one. So that is a forward backward knot. Now we're going to do kind of the same thing, but with yellow. So we will do three backward knots and then a backward forward knot. So you're going to take your innermost pink or whatever color you have right here, and then your innermost blue, and you will do a backward knot. So four going this way.
and you will do two more of these. So this is what your bracelet should now look like. You should have two blues, a pink, two blues, then two pinks, a blue, and then two pinks. So this one will be kind of like the same as the other one, but it will be a backward forward. So I'll leave out one of the blues over here, and then you'll take the pink and do a backward knot. And then the other way, a forward knot like this. And then that is that part done. So now we're gonna be getting into the middle part, which is a little bit trickier. But the first knot we're gonna do is this one. This is a backward forward yellow. And then after that, we will do that same strand will be a yellow over yellow or pink over pink as I'm doing. So I will take again my innermost blue and then my innermost pink and I will do a backward forward. So backward looks like this and then forward is the other way. So this way. After that one, I will do just a regular forward knot onto this pink. And that would be these two knots. So now the next two we're going to do is this blue one and then this blue one. And then we will do a backward forward with this one. So first we'll start with this blue one. So you should have two blue strings right in the middle. And we'll take these two and do a forward knot. The next one that I'm going to do I think I will do the backward forward, so I will take this pink string right here and I'll do a backward knot onto the blue and then a forward knot. And then the next one I will do is this blue right here, which is just blue over blue. So now I'm going to do this one, I believe. So it's pretty much the same thing, blue over blue, forward knot. So that is what it's looking like so far. So now we're going to go all the way back up to here and we're going to do three backward knots with this blue. So from before, you should have a blue all the way out on this edge here. And so I'm going to take that one, and then there should be a pink right next to it, this one. And we will do one backward knot. Then we will do another one onto this next pink. Then we will join these two blues together. And so you can kind of see the wave coming through. So the next thing that we're going to do is this one right here. Because if you see this one, you need the blue to go back over here. So you need to do these four first before you come in with this one. So we're going to go back out to the edge and do three backward knots and then a backward forward. So I'll take my two outermost pink strands and I'll do three backward knots. So I now have finished those ones and I will do a backward forward and this one will be on this blue string right here. So this is the rightmost blue string and so I will do a backward knot then a forward. So backward then 
forward. So now what we can do is kind of connect them all together. So I'll go back up to this yellow and do four forward knots. Then I'll go back over here and do three backward knots, then one backward knot. So the first one I'll do is over here by this pink. So I will do four. So it will just be all over these blues on this edge. Now I'll do my three backward knots right here, and then my one. So I'll take the two outermost pinks and then do three backward knots. Now the very last part of this pattern is this little edge right here. So we'll do four forward knots with blue and then two forward knots with blue. So I'll take my two leftmost blue strings and I will do four forward knots. Now I will do the two. So I'll take the two most left ones again and then do one right here and then one onto this next one. And that is the first wave of this pattern. The first one might be a little bit harder to see than the other since it's by this knot, but you can still kind of see the wave. And this will just repeat until you have a full bracelet. So now all your strings should be lined up to start the pattern over again. So mine are all lined up. So I have six and five back here. And then you would just go right back up to the top of this pattern and do the same things all over again. So if you want, you could just rewind the video and rewatch um, that part if you're still struggling, struggling, but basically you just repeat this the whole time. So however many waves you want, you just repeat the pattern that many times. So on this one, I think I have maybe 10 waves and that fits my wrist, wrist pretty good. So whatever you would like to do, I think I might do 10 on this one as well, but I will start the time lapse and I will be back once it is done. <laughs> I actually made this one a while ago. I have this one still on. I think it's been almost a year. It's kind of falling apart, but I still really love this bracelet. And I also have made this one, <laughs> but my strings are too short, of course. But I will finish this one, and then I will come back and show you once it is done. So I just finished knotting this whole bracelet. Now I'm just going to cut this loop and do my ties. Um, I think I might do twisted ties for this one. To do these, you take your two different colors, or however you want to do it, and you twist them both in the same direction, and then you take those and you twist them in the opposite direction. And you just keep doing that for as long as you want it to be, and then you just tie a little knot. Then I just cut off the extra, and do the same thing on the other side. And there we go. This is my finished bracelet. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, yeah, this is, I did 10 waves actually. And so when I put it around my wrist, it is just about perfect. Like I just have enough room to tie. You can even do a little bit longer if you wanted. But if you could consider subscribing, that really helps out. And I hope you like this tutorial.